rise and shine the timeline of this video is a little wonky but we made it to the city of dongguan check that out the landscape a beautiful thing so dongguan is actually known as china's factories there's basically hundreds if not thousands of major factories here ranging from major corporations to small businesses so on and so forth but we're visiting a couple of model car factories in a little bit I'm not sure where I can film or show you guys, but I do want to show you guys this water feature. I've never seen anything quite like it. It says remote control switch for background music. So you turn on the water, okay, as such. Let's boost up the volume. Jam out to your favorite tune over here. Look at this, it's public volume. Yes! I feel like it's uh, triggering a red light camera in America, mm -hmm. but this is just standard procedure here in, uh, in any city. Yeah, yeah, in in China, just you drive past any intersection, it's gonna flash you. Take that as you will. Hello, Yang Wan U8 fake <laughs> Land Rover Defender. Wow, it actually looks like the same thing. They're literally just digging holes in the middle of the street here. I don't know why. There's no cones. There's no safety. There's no, signs. no signs. As you do. Boy, don't cover that up just yet, brother men. We just got here. Anyways, it looks like the um, Utopia hood has been painted with a bunch of dragons on it. We're currently on a non-operating escalator here, getting a couple photos from above of the Pagani Cinque. We've got art director, Mr. Chun, hooking it up. Got us in here, a sneak preview of what's to come here at the Who Is Leonardo Da Vinci. Quick close up of the Cinque over here. We got the red emblems right there. Got the Pagani flag painted on the logo there. It too has been manual swapped like I mentioned earlier. I don't know if you can see that, uh, sort of. We're on the wide angle so the quality is subpar. And of course the front emblem has been painted red as well number chassis one of five looking extremely nice i gotta say that is one prim looking stargazer wow definitely on the top five top 10 list of cars dream cars i would love to own doesn't really matter if it's a coupe or roadster as long as it's an original cinque my goodness before we get into the details of today's video regarding the pretty bizarre circumstances of this abandoned supercar dealership in china I'd like to announce that today's video is sponsored by none other than Raycon. As you guys know, in the beginning of 2024, I made a promise to you guys and you guys alone. And that is, we're going to be traveling across the globe, the entire world, continents, countries, cities, villages, townships. I don't care what it is, we're going to do our damnedest best to find and uncover as many secret car collections, crazy dealerships, abandoned cars, whatever it is, whatever it takes, we're going to do it. Traveling involves a lot of flying, dealing with noisy terminals, noisy passengers, just a lot of baloney. Now, to really put myself as Zen and make the travel experience a lot smoother and easier and a lot quieter, I use these Raycons right over here to make that happen. My Raycons have over eight hours of playtime and over 32 hours of battery life to get you past those long trips and long flights. These Raycons offer amazing sound quality at half the price of other premium audio brands. Raycon has these optimized gel tips that make it super comfortable for long periods of listening that do not fall out. The Raycons come with three customizable sound profiles. My personal favorite is the extra bass. It has two modes, noise isolation and awareness mode. As you can tell, I travel a lot and noise isolation is the way to go. And they come in many colors, carbon black, electric blue, flare red, and rose gold. If you want to continue to see great content on this channel and support the channel, click the link down below in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash sbot and get 20% off your Raycon purchase and free shipping. Again, it's buyraycon.com slash sbot to get 20% off your entire order plus free shipping. Now, back to the video. We're currently here at Dream Powers Model Factory here somewhere in China, and they built this massive, unbelievable detailed Rolls Royce Cullinan with their own custom body kit. It's called the Rolls Royce Dark Knight D900. This is a sample two of two, but this is one of the most detailed models I've ever seen. It's actually for sale for around $3,000 if it's like a single color. If you want a two-tone, it's like around four grand. 
But man, the detail is insane. They even added Bane and Olufsen speakers in the rear here. We're gonna zoom in just a little bit. Zoom in. Look at the quality. Look at that. And he's also got the Rambler RS. This is his own variant of what he thinks a Porsche, air cool Porsche should look like with all the crazy aero, the roof scoop. Check out the massive wing over there. Hold on, let's do a little bit of that. There you go. Now, these are obviously fantasy like body kits that I mentioned earlier. These kits do not exist, but it will definitely put Mansory, Brabus, Haman, all those people to shame. Model car fanatics rejoice. We're currently here at Sums Model. They're a major player and they do a lot of model cars for mini champs. They do the BBR die cast. I mean, they also do the almost real Pagani's over here. I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough of some of the stuff in their client showroom. These are all the Pagani's that they've currently made right over here. A lot of the Cinque's on the F's. Of course, the new Cinque Roadster. Oh, there's a lot of glare here. The white one that just got released. Look at that are made out of 143 Mini Champ model cars. And you can see the S right down the middle indicating that's their logo. And we've got the entire display case over here of every single model car they've ever made. Prototypes. Oh, it's, it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. We're gonna do this nice and slowly for you guys. I did not realize that they did all the Mini Champ models. And as you know, with the 143 scale, oh, bless you. As with the 143 scale uh, model car game, Mini Champs is one of the biggest, if not the biggest one out there. And that is the China McLaren P1 that actually resides locally around Guangdong. Yeah, Guangdong. They also do techno model stuff as well. Everything inside these cases here are prototypes, um, client samples, so on and so forth. So it's kind of like a museum of some sort of all their uh, previous projects and model cars. Quick. We got the diecast BBR stuff over here. So this is some pretty exclusive access here. Many thanks to Mr. Marcus over here, who is Mr. Model Car Distributor in China. Here we go. Here's some more bikes, some more helmets, more motorbikes. Unfortunately, we are a little short on time, ladies and gentlemen. So we cannot go through every single roll of these collapsible uh, shelves, so to speak. But there's some really interesting stuff here. Look at this. This 143 scale Mini Champs Veyron with Victor Rhymes. Never seen that before. And of course, we have the dealer boxes right over here. I mean, I'm not really too familiar with the 143 world, but if you are a collector, keep your eyes peeled open because there might be some secrets and some crazy prototypes that you've never seen before. So, yeah, this is crazy to have this kind of access. We're literally at the factories in China, in Guangdong, seem to be extremely rare prototypes that either never made it to the mass market or there's these crazy special editions like the Cayenne over there that he's never seen. This is pretty rare too. That one right over there. Because it has a Zars book uh, delivery, but it's oh, okay. 992. Zero, zero, zero out of 100. Zero, zero, zero out of 100. Indicating that these are all prototypes. To actually just collect these cars and buy them online to actually visiting the factories here is truly a real treat. We're at an undisclosed location. We don't know what the story is. There's so many questions, but there is an abandoned Carrera GT with matching red wheels and the yellow calipers. The red wheels are from factory too, right? Yeah, it's, it's factory. Factory. And then we have a 575 Super America. It's a manual. Engine. Manual? Yeah. Where's the Corvette? It's, it's somewhere right. over there, but hold on. Let's take a look here. Look at this. What? is going on over here it's clearly an abandoned dealership you can see how long it's been here too hold on a second see how faded that poster right over there is and the, and the wall is like falling off too oh yeah on the top hold on let's see uh hold on a second there you go the roof is caving in so we have a few theories as to what's going on here but there's no definitive story. Nobody really seems to know what's happening other than there's these three cars that have been abandoned here by its previous owner who probably got into some sort of debt, couldn't pay the rent, and the land owner or the building owner seized it. But I guess the paperwork is kind of like in limbo and apparently the Carrera GT is not, you can't register this car again. Is that correct? Yeah, no, 
it's just been too long uh there's too many regulations there's a lot of red tape basically going on with these three cars here but look how faded the the posters are yeah these are that's it holy shit yeah look at the roof if that roof fell on one of the cars that's it look right up there it's it's uh it's falling apart this whole place is literally falling apart and what's even crazier is this is the first floor of like maybe like 10 to 15 stories there's people that live upstairs so we have like some options section right over here some wheels some parts some bits and bobs a poster you got the red couches obviously for uh the ferrari dealership the 575 super america looking to be in pretty rough shape now while you zoom out a little bit you got the ferrari logo right over here and the maserati logo here so obviously something happened at this particular dealership something went terribly wrong and has been left to rot and abandoned for the past 10 plus years i guess crazy hold on yeah that's the roof right there i mean well in all seriousness there's a possibility that thing could fall on one of the cars right that is a brand new c5 z06 in a beautiful yellow all four tires are flat over there look at that we got some bicycles just abandoned on the ground over there there's a bunch of debris in the back there's a maserati options list let me zoom in a little bit more oh yeah color combination for the interior sport package wow what a throwback that is and then here is the z06 in question take it in boys and girls obviously um wow i'm not quite sure what else to say we're gonna do some digging, but for the time being, enjoy your final view of this abandoned Carrera GT, the C5 Z06 in the corner over there. And of course the one and only 575 Super America right over yonder. So we're gonna head out, um, do some research and uh, see if we could dig up any uh, interesting factoids about the situation here. We'd love to hear your comments, your uh, thoughts any theories as to what has happened here please let me know in the comments below because this is pure madness yeah it looks like this place was shut down in a hurry and we have no idea why we'll go home do a little bit of research get our detective hats on and uh trying to figure it out so so we found ourselves at a random strip mall outside of shenzhen you're telling me we could do karaoke in this little booth in the mall you can shout and no one heard you Okay, let me go in. Okay, we're... Uh. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, okay. It's not even that bad. Sing me a song. Dude, we should play. We should play. Okay. Come on. Do let's do it. This? So, one song is like... 10... Um, so, that's like a dollar yeah, and a half in US. Minutes and then it has different package. Jazz Tiger. Live for success. Welcome. Look at this. Bowling and billiards over here inside the mall is that a real rabbit maybe it's a fake rabbit no way it's real goldfish i honestly don't know how we do it but every country we go to we always manage to find claw machines and arcades look at this oh look these are cute <laughs> it's pretty amazing we just saw one of those Leap Motor electric cars. They have a dealership here in the mall. Leap Motor. Be a steak that Chinese people like to order the steak to help yourself. Oh shit, where's that dog? Where you go? Oh, there he is. Oi. <laughs> Be good dog. Can we go through? Uh, I think we go otherwise. Yeah, yeah. I just come. Yeah, we are, we are out in the countryside, brother man. We found ourselves on the outskirts of Dongguan, S class, just parked in the middle of the street, as you do in China. Not quite sure what is around here, but here we are. Just a quick update. Uh, a lot of people do assume that just because you visit Beijing or uh, Shanghai or some of the major cities, it's a representation of China it is not it's like visiting tokyo and you think that that basically encapsulates all of japan it is not the case we're out here not really in the boonies not really in the country just yet but yep here we are 
the dog made it. I think the dog made it. Oh, 